to let We're the getting back to you and Dr. Ferdy Pacheco inside the ring. Today, the focus spotlights the women in the ring. Will the day ever come when a woman boxer receives the type of recognition that a Mary Lou Retton or a Chris Everett Lloyd receives? That is the subject of part two of our Sports World Sports Journal, which focuses on women in boxing. It's Saturday, February 23rd, and today's edition of Sports Journal is brought to you by Budweiser. For all you do, this Bud's for you. On our last edition of Sports Journal, we noted how the manly art of self-defense is never referred to as the womanly art, despite the presence of multimillionaire promoter Josephine Abercrombie in Houston and other influential women all around the sport. Dr. Doris Brown is a renowned ringside physician in Washington, D.C. In fact, the chairperson of the Boxing Commission in our nation's capital is Cora Wilds. And the women judges who are steeped in controversy. The respected Eva Shane, who judged the hagler Hamshow fight. And Carol Poulos, the judge banned in England. When one trainer scoffed, a woman's place is in the home. When it comes to women in the ring, it's virtually unanimous. The women outside the ring are opposed. I don't really like to see it. Uh, I think it's been a known fact since Roman Emperor days that always been men. Well, I don't really think that women belong in the ring. Young women in boxing, I think, um, doesn't appeal to me. Frankly, I don't see that as a, as a viable sport. From the origins of the sport, only men watched only men as they fought and they bet, and the women weren't invited. So the women started inviting themselves, and the men balked. So the women had no choice but to go to court. In 1977, a New York court gave women the right to box, and matches were held, not many, but matches nonetheless in New York, in California, in Tennessee, and elsewhere. Suddenly, women boxers were being talked about, and one of them, Cat Davis, made it to the cover of Ring Magazine. We received a thousand and one letters by people who are Die Noel fans, who are much more unfair than I would ever be, and who thought that this was a disgrace. The Ring Magazine was being Roman, absolutely ruined by putting a woman on the cover. I thought I was being fair, and people would appreciate it, but you see, there were evidently a lot of bigoted idiots out there, too. And then women's boxing really arrived. There was a scandalous fight in Atlanta in 78. There was talk of phony names and records, of drug water bottles. It was just like men's boxing. So what's the state of boxing in 1985? Our updated Sports Journal survey shows three women are licensed to box in both California and Virginia, two in Maine, one each in Michigan and New Mexico. In a country of 121 million women, just 10 now are licensed to box. But there are far more than 10 women boxers. Just last week in Tulsa, there was this women's welterweight fight. But there is no boxing commission in Oklahoma, so the women weren't licensed. In fact, most women don't go to the expense of getting a license unless they have a fight. So the number of women boxers in the country is probably 10 times the number licensed. We're at the Broadway Street Gym in Los Angeles, neighboring on Watts. There may be 100 women boxers in the entire country, but as many as half of them may be right here in the state of California. For example, meet Pat Panita, the first woman licensed to box in California in the 70s. Cheryl Wheeler from Malibu. She's a current world champion in kickboxing. Flyweight Ace Hatem, the young woman of the 80s, a fitness buff. As you know, the 80s is a different era for women, and fortunately, you know, to be physical and be a woman in the 80s is the thing. It's not like the Twiggy image anymore. So the people that I deal with enjoy women who are physical, and I enjoy being physical, and it portrays an image, and then from there, you feel better about yourself from being very well in physical shape. You're in mental and spiritual shape as well. A lot of people wonder why a woman wants to get into boxing. Um, you know, it's a personal thing. It takes all types of people to make the world go round, and um, my interest came about through the karate, but I think most people understand, you know, once they see a woman in the ring and actually fighting, and they see that she can fight and she does have good technique, they're very impressed. Only reason why is because it's getting tougher out there, and they have to learn how to 
protect themselves, take care of themselves. So whether they get into it as a profession or not, it's good that women do know. I mean, rapes up, murders are down. I read that the other day in the paper, and if I'm going to have somebody try to rape me, I'd like to know that I can defend myself. But the premier spokeswoman for the cause is Lady Tiger Trimiar. She's been at it 11 years, and she scoffs at the thought that women are supposed to be more genteel. Then if I were to tell you that women uh, uh, can knock each other out and break each other's nose, then they'll say, well, women shouldn't box. It's too brutal. So I'm saying that we can't win either way. Either we're too strong or we're too weak. And then there are the twins, Cora and Dora Weber. If you're looking for the bravado, for the macho, or the boom boom of women's boxing, look no farther. Well, I'm a boxer puncher. I like to stick and move and slip punches like Sugar Ray Robinson, and my sisters like Joe Frazier and Jack Dempsey. She'll slam on you if you let her. If you don't stand her away, she'll knock you out. She's a far better boxer. She has the experience. But when it comes to uh, slugging and stuff, I think I'm better at that. Obviously, the problem facing women boxers is acceptance. Are sports fans ever willing to accept a female boxer in the same light as a tennis player or track star? I hope so, because we deserve it. We work just as hard as they do. And we put, even some of us put more time and effort in than the ones that are out there. I believe we deserve it, too. I really feel that there will be a time, but I'm hoping and praying that it'll be in my day because uh, I've put so much time and, and energy and effort in, into this, you know. We have hopes and dreams and desires the same as our male counterparts. It's clear there is no stampede of women into the ring. The public and media are not clamoring to see women's boxing. I went to California half expecting to find a cross between mud wrestling and roller derby. I came away with the feeling that all these women want is a chance. As one woman boxer told me, Martina can't beat McEnroe either, but at least people do go to tennis matches and appreciate the skills that a Martina Navratilova. The old side.